Hey guys, welcome back to the Alpha Strike. Today we are doing our review for the Wave 1 of Teenage Mutant Turtles. Um, we're actually doing both at the same time, but they'll be in separate videos. So, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Wave 1 in this video for commons. There'll be other videos for the second wave and the other uh, rarities. So, uh, we wanted to get in the spirit today. Thanks to, uh, <laughs> thanks to Loot Box for these uh, wonderful, sweet... Sunglasses. Sunglasses, yeah. <laughs> This is what you can say. I don't know. I kind of, when Eric brought this over, I was like, oh, I'm picking up the shredder, I'm putting it on, because, you know, Mike Nito. I'm thinking about fashioning one of these with the Mike Nito helmet, and I will wear it all the time. And Leo's just my favorite, so I had to have the blue one, so. All right, so uh, uh, I'm starting this off. You want to hand me Raphael there? Uh-huh. A little bit of disadvantage here, because uh, we don't have the dial on the back of these older cards. I'm going to have to review these. Pardon me while I take off my mask so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Raphael, uh, number one, common, 50 points. Uh, him and all his brothers have this trait, so we're going to cover this once. Fighting through the swarms, when Raphael hits an opposing character, after action is resolved, you may place him in any square adjacent to that character. Uh, total hack with that, you have him pick up an ultralight object, toss it eight squares, and then, boop, I'm next to you. Um, his uh, white damage power is he can use Flurry and deals penetrating damage when making a close attack. You guys saw this uh, rollout in our total battle box. I don't know if... Uh, it never actually happened because... No, it happened afterward. Anyway, probably. And Raphael absolutely just killed my Shredder, <laughs> even though I had the whole Cluster Torch on him. It just wrecked him with that penetrating damage. He gets that for three clicks, drops down into... Uh, uh, combat, close combat expert, battle fury on the, the second two clicks in, so click two and three, starts with charge, drops down to leap climb, and then starts with toughness and drops down into close combat expert. So really, with him you want to find a way to get him into the fight, let him take a hit, and then he's rocking a 19 defense, ready to dish out some pain. So get him in there, don't be afraid to let him take a hit, and then... Uh, Wreck the house. All right. So, next up we have numero two, which is uh, Mikey. Probably my second favorite of the turtles. This guy is really good. Um, so yeah, fighting the storm trait might cover that. He also has the nunchakus, special Nunch attack powers. <laughs> Says he can use flurry. Already good. Each time he hits, so this is every time on two attacks he hits twice. This is really great. Um, whenever he hits the opposing character. Um, after it's resolved, you may give that character an action token. So if he does flurry, he can give out two Oof. tokens. Not to mention I'm damaging you too. Yeah, wow. for two damage. Plus he has some power on that click, so he gives out to his buddies too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna clock it, give an action token, clock it, give an action token, you push, and then my friends who are standing nearby are gonna have the power to keep beating you down too. <laughs> Boy, he just knows how to bring the party. Yes, he does. Um, so he has charge, 11 attack with that power, 17 toughness and power, second click, jumps to 18 defense, 10 attacks, so he kind of reverses it a little bit. Two damage and power still. Third, um, goes down to reflexes, still has some chuckers power and empower. Fourth, leap climb, finally loses charge. Um, reflexes still with close combat expert, just like uh, Raph gets there. S uh, see here, fifth click, nine attack, dropping down. Close combat expert gets him to 10 3 still, so. Uh, 16 reflexes and KO's on 6. So I think all of them have five clicks of life for 50 points. 50 points plus a slew of powers, you know. Yeah. Um, I really feel like they were missing stealth overall because they really needed something to be able to get them in there. But we do have quite a good transporter, a few good transporters now to just pick them all up there and get them in there, especially for 50 points. A lot of them together is 200, so you've got at least 100 points of transporter to get them in and out of there if need be. Up next, Donatello fighting through the swarm straight. Uh, his special damage power is all damage dealt by Donatello causes knockback and uh, giant oh. reach too. By the way, um, keywords, they have Lee oh, yes. animal martial artist, TMNT, and TMNT ally, and Donatello is special if he gets scientist, scientist. on top of that. Yeah. Doesn't uh, Leo get uh, soldier? Nope. I know one of them does. Uh, anyway, so he starts with charge, a special white power, 18 defense with toughness, and outwit. So we got a 50 point outwit with a good and solid defense there. Uh, drops to 17, then with toughness, goes to 17 with combat reflexes, then loses charge, goes to leap climb, close combat expert. Similar to Raph, similar to Mikey. They're all pretty made the same. Which pretty is, straightforward. They're turtles, I mean, how different can they all be, right? 
out with though, if you point out with. That's really good. Really helps when you get uh, you know people with higher end defenses and if Raph's not there to be poking holes in them, you got <laughs> option to stop him from charging or slowing them down or whatever you need. All right, and then my main man Leo, who what's Africas? Who is your favorite turtle? You never mentioned. I don't have a favorite. <gasps> nope. No, you, need you can't favorite. have favorite children. I mean, mm. I I'm sorry. When so it comes to it, I went through I went through the phase growing up. I started off liking Michelangelo, and then I moved to Donatello. Then I moved to Leonardo, and I finished off with Raphael. And then afterward, I had a respect for all of them that I just, there's not one that I like more than the others. Hmm, interesting. All right, so Leo, 50 points. He has Fighting Through the Swarms, and his personal attack power, he starts off with his Katana. He can use Blitz Claws Fangs. If he missed with a close attack this turn, he can use Sidestep. So if he's missing you, he can kind of get away from you. It, it seems kind of counterintuitive in a way, but they have poison or something like that. Eh, he's got toughness starting. He off. does. That's a... I guess if they got flurry, they got a pretty mean counter or some yeah. strength or something. I mean, you can get him in there, out of there, get him where he needs to be. Hopefully, they have no range or sidestep or charge. <laughs> but yeah, that's really. his... trade would be awesome with stealth. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> he has eleven attack with that blitz attack with two damage leadership. Unfortunately, his leadership just gives you more action, which is the fourth action you use with fourth turtles, anyways. So. But they're 200 points, yeah. so if you're playing a 200 point game and you get that leadership, you've got three actions. If you're playing a 300 point game, you get that leadership, you get four actions in a three action game. So really, yeah. you're not able to remove a token from the other turtles, but you still get the option to take four actions in a single turn. So Correct. don't ever discount that when it comes to leadership. More actions is always key, guys. If you have more than your opponent has, you can genuinely win. Um, second click, he still has his own attack, keeping it the whole way through. Um, there's no change to his dial there. Uh, third click, he has the same 11 attack. 11 attack, 3 clicks, guys. 17 reflexes charged. 50 points? 50 points, yeah. 11 attack? Wow. Uh, fourth click, finds drops down to a 10 with leap climb and close combat extra like So he could go back up to a 12. Yeah. Man, he's an attacking monster. Yeah. Um, and then fifth click, he has leap climb, 10 attack with close combat expert. So last two clicks, close combat expert. But aside from that, 3 of blades. He gets them swords for most of his dial. So that's pretty stellar. I like this one a lot for 50 points. Okay, moving right along, you have the Wii Mauser. So, Mauser, this may be a common, but easily mistaken for a rare, because in our experience of polls, it was one to a box. Yeah, seriously, maybe. maybe. So, 20-point uh, Mauser, uh, keywords, robot, team, and T villain. Uh, ignores hindering terrain for movement purposes. Traded, uh, give it a power action and destroy an adjacent wall or square of blocking terrain. Now this guy should have been in my uh, Mike Needle Break Stuff video. I just dropped him on just Om nom. Uh, sidestep with four movement, 10 attack, 17 defense with toughness, and exploit weakness tiny sized. And Indom. And Indom. It's got the... And a whole whopping two clicks of life. Yep. You see it there on screen there, guys. <laughs> Uh, drops to a 9 attack, 16 defense, bear, 3 with sidestep, and 1 exploit. So, for 20 points, good tie-up, good punch through defense, crack those eggs, but uh, they're going to die. Opens up walls for you guys, so if you're hiding behind walls, not no more. It would be interesting to run, like, you know, 5 of these. 100 points, just fill out the rest of your team there, it would be really awesome. But, uh, yeah, for being a common, pretty well rare. Hard to come by. Fairly pricey, you were telling me. I think I saw when they first came out, they were five bucks or so a piece. They could have gone down or up. I haven't looked in a while, but yeah. I'd assume they held their value right about three to four overall. That's fair. All right, so we have our first foot soldier. I believe it's the Psy. Where is he? Right there. Yep. Holding old Raph's weapon there. So sorry about the clump up down here, guys. Between the two <laughs> sets, there are just too many commons for this setup. So. Yep. Okay. So the foot soldiers from this wave are really cool. They all had this trait called, there's more of these robots? More. <laughs> when foot soldier is KO'd by an opponent's attack, you can roll a d6. On a five or six, you may place a character named foot soldier, not this one, any of the five, and you can put them into your starting area or a square within five squares of it. If you watched our battle box video, Mike did that <laughs> with <laughs> colors. Just, oh look, a soldier. Oh look, a soldier. <laughs> it was rough. Yeah, and it, it's not line of fire from your starting area either, so they can just kind of drop in anywhere. If you've ever played the old Super NES or arcade Turtles in Time, that's kind of what it feels like. You take one out, another one <laughs> yeah, drops in, you're seriously. just like, didn't I just kill this guy? So that's all that they'll, that they all share that one trait, and they all have the same kind of powers that the common turtles have. So this one has, of course, 
Raphael Sai, where he does flurry and deals penetrating damage while doing so. So he has that for his first two clicks, and then his third click, he has just willpower. I think I forgot to mention that Raphael does flurry. I think I, I read it, but I don't think I highlighted it. So. Uh, it's, well, yeah, he does flurry. He does flurry. flurry. It's great. Oh, terrible. Absolutely terrible. But these guys have our 30 points with the fo Foot Clan robot and TMNT villain keywords. They're only 30 points a pop. They have sidestep to start with toughness, so you can't poison them to death. They're and robots. Then, yeah, and then late dial, they have willpower. And then on the very last, they have plasticity, we'll probably eight and one. Lock you down. The four clicks for these guys is really, really good, and the movement of sidestep just overbears the turtles. Like, they can't keep up with these ninjas. Because while they're taking other turns upon turns to walk up to the foot cleanse, these guys are just like, boop, 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 just come to get you. Creeping up on you. Okay, you have uh, the bow staff one. Um, actually, you've got me with the katana no, you have and katana. The nunchucks. So who's first, katana? Uh, I believe so. It's nope, nunchucks. Nunchucks. Okay, he is right here. There you go. All right. So uh, if you notice, the dial is the exact same for all of these. Yeah, they are. Save the comma because he has range. Yes. But uh, again, sidestep, special power, willpower, plasticity, and starts with toughness. 30 points, all the same keywords for Nunchucks again. Has the uh, Michelangelo special, which is Flurry, and when he hits a composing character, uh, you can give that character an action token. When I played these guys, you know, I love the fact that they're incredibly thematic and they're really low point cost. And the fact that they have the Turtles special abilities just kind of makes me feel like, well, I'm getting a cheaper cost than the Turtles, but when I take a hit, you know, I go to pretty well nothing on the tie up piece, but. I mean, it just feels so thematic for what they do. And they can respawn, too. And they have an incredibly deep dial for, for 30, 30 points. points. I mean, four clicks. When I was playing Eric, he hit one. I was like, oh, it's going to die. What? It's still alive? Now it's got plasticity? How does that work? So, yeah, it hooks up the turtle. And then, oh, I have to keep on dealing this one weak ninja or else. You know? Yeah, because, I mean, toughness to start. If you don't have anything to break that, one, two, three, I'm on my last click. So you have to hit me for four to one-shot me. Mm -hmm. Wow, they just, yeah, just keep coming. And then if you do, Leo or Raph, because they actually don't do penetrating, they do knockback. So right, but even Raph does back. three. Yeah, but even still, I mean, after you kill it, I get a chance to bring it right on back. You can be loading up your points, but you know, if I play fast enough, I can really take you down in the game. And then I have both staff to cover. This yeah. is uh, Donnie's counterpart here. So yeah, same thing. Uh, side step, ten attack with the bow staff ability, which gives him, of course. All damage caused by him deals knockback damage and giant reach too. So, a little bit giant of range. reach, guys. Yeah, total game changer. Uh, if you watched our um, superior foe, no, it wasn't. Yeah, superior foes, sinister syndicate versus the uh, serpent society. society. Giant reach three <sighs> changes the game. So it's just good. like, wait, what? You you can punch me from three squares away. So watch your giant reaches because they come in really handy. Yep, and that's him. Just that's yeah, just like Donnie. Okay. All right. Well, I've got the uh, katana. Uh, more of the same. More of the uh, same. Just leave it out there. Yep. Um, Blades, claws, fangs. If you miss the close attack this turn, he can use sidestep. Now he can use sidestep normally, so I don't think that he could use it again. I haven't seen any fact. rulings on it. If you guys have seen that on the forums, please post it in the comments below. I just, I haven't seen anything about that. Because when they have that power, he'll have sidesteps, so he can sidestep in, Blades Claws, and if he missed, he might be able to sidestep out, given what WizKids may or may not say about that. Yeah. And then the last one, not least, is the Chain Comma. Same foot soldier trait, um, same keywords, of course. Um, his Three is really range. cool. Three range, I believe, is all he has, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so when foot soldier... Hits an opposing character with a range attack. After action's resolved, you may place the hit character adjacent to Foot Soldier and it can't be moved or placed during its next turn. So basically, he throws it out there, wraps you up, pulls you Get in. Get over here. Get over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then you have to stay there for a whole turn while the other Foot Clan beat Just up on beat you. Beat the crap out of you, yeah. Which, again, in that turtle box, oh, man. Man, that battle box, you can watch that happen. It was. Pretty brutal. Yes. All right, guys. Well, that completes the commons for Wave 1. Hopefully, that was a little insightful. I know it was just kind of turtles and the foot clenches and the Mauser, but that's just how we feel about those pieces. They are really, really good. 
they're super efficient for their points. I'm just loving this new age of clicks where the points are down, efficiency's up, shorter dials is fine. They're getting their damage in regardless. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, until next time, remember: strike first and strike hard.